All right, we're going to start with uh, some, some of the um, potato chip crusted chicken strips. And actually, my mom, instead of chicken strips, have, has made this recipe for years, and she just does the entire chicken breast. So you could also do that and um, serve that as, uh, you know, actually as a meal. But I love the idea of chicken strips because they're just fun, and you can dip away and dip them in whatever dip you, you'd like to do, you know, ranch or barbecue or honey mustard, whatever your family likes, or my kids don't do any dip at all. So it's just fun finger food. I don't know what it is about uh, finger food, but it's fun, and that's what today's show is all about. So went to the grocery store, or a lot of times you'll have in your freezer just the boneless, skinless chicken breast. And we're just going to slice it into, you can do strips, you can do chunks, whatever. But, um, and I make these all the time. I really do. I just, you know, I think it's just a lot of fun. So we're just going to go ahead and, and slice them into strips. And you can make them whatever size you'd like. If you'd like them a little smaller, um, that's fine too. And these are so much better than the, the kind you get in the store that are already made. They're just way, way better. You know, the frozen ones that you just bake up. First of all, a lot of, that a lot of times that meat is processed. And, uh, you know, this is, we're using real chicken breast. Got the good white meat chicken. And it's quick and easy. You know what's in it. And actually, Ireland, um, a lot of times she'll help me make these, and it's just a lot of fun. So I'm going to wash my hands because I, with soap, just touch that raw chicken. Make sure and do plenty of these, several chicken breasts, because people just gobble them up. And you know what? I was talking about something fun to do for the kids and with the kids, but, you know, retro theme parties where you do just a bunch of fun things like chicken strips and things that you had when you were a kid, um, you know, fanc not the fancy stuff. Adult parties, they're a really fun thing to do for adult parties, too. Finger food is fun. It's just fun, and especially if you're doing fun, you know, uh, unstuffy food at a party. Uh, and people love it, and they actually eat, which is a great thing if you're having a party. Okay, so we're going to make a breading station here. We've got our chicken strips all diced up, and uh, because we're using potato chips as our breading, which we all have with our little chip clip here, leftover potato chips, uh, at the bottom of the bag we've got all those crumbs. We're going to make them even crumblier, if that's a word, which I'm sure it isn't. But anyway, we're really going to crush up those chips, and we're going to do it right in the bag. But my mom's been making potato chip chicken for years and years, and I thought, we'll just turn her recipe into chicken strips. Okay, so we crushed those up, and we got our breading station. Now, this can get messy, which isn't so fun. So if you can be organized when you're breading anything from fish to chicken to whatever, really um, keeps the, the kitchen from becoming a huge mess. And that's no fun to clean that up. All right. I love, you know, the, the chip dip that, you know, you know the, the onion chip dip that always goes with the um, potato chips. So this breading, um, the, the, the wet mixture is actually got sour cream in it, which really goes great. You know, the sour cream dips that go with chips. So it just kind of all goes together. So we've got about a cup of sour cream. I've got some garlic salt, some onion powder or onion salt, just going to flavor that sour cream up, and some paprika for some color and some flavor. And then a little bit of milk to thin it out. Just going to whisk that together and get that nice and smooth. You need something to act as the glue. So we're going to dip the chicken strips in the sour cream mixture and then in the potato, trash potato chips, and then we're going to bake them. This is something we'll do sometimes in my family, like on a Sunday night. And Ireland and I will get to breading all these up, breading chicken strips up, and then we'll, you know, rent a movie and I'll sit around the TV, you know, just there's a time for formal family dinners and we try and do those a couple times a week but then there's a time that we all just want to chill out and sit together and watch a movie so this is just a fun fun thing to do something different and give the kids once in a while permission to eat in front of a movie if we're all doing it together as a family and we're talking and hanging out I don't see a problem with that um, all right so let's start this breading I'm gonna grease or line with foil a cookie sheet these need to go into a hot oven, about a 425, three, at least, you know, 
uh, real high, 375 up to 425, depending on your oven t uh, uh, temperature, how hot it gets. Really want to crank that oven heat up there and get them nice and crispy is what we're trying to do without deep frying these. These are baked, they're not fried, uh, thank goodness, because that, again, is uh, no fun um, to clean up after deep frying. So today's show is all about having a ball, keeping things easy but fun. So into the sour cream mixture and then into the chicken strips and or into the potato chips I should say. Nice coating on those. And I'm using tongs because if you do it with your fingers it's really messy. And if you get an assembly line going, this will be done in no time. Now if your potato chips start getting a little gummy, just crush up some more so you can kind of do this in batches. Start with some potato chips in here and then add some more because they might tend to do that. Okay. This is fun. I'm having a ball doing this. If you have any really fun recipes, email them to me. I love getting your emails and I love getting your recipes. All right, we're almost done here. Just keep going and going. Like I said, make sure and have plenty because you don't want to run out. My family tends to gobble these up. Okay. These are going to go into the oven. And we actually already have some in here, so come back with me and we'll get these in and get these out and look what happens. They are just yummy. They cook up pretty quickly, this, uh, depending on the size of your... You can also drizzle them with a little butter if you want to, but um, you know what? We didn't even do it with these and they turned out nice and crispy and wonderful. There's a lot of oil in those chicken strips, but if you, if you want to um, you know, get them a little brown, you can certainly drizzle them with a little butter or olive oil before you bake them off. But look at these. They look so good, I just want to dig right in. And they're fun, they're just fun. Um, you know, like I say, if you're having people over and they're munching on these and they're like, what's, you know, what's on top of this chicken? Well, it's potato chips. I mean, it's just really fun. So you just want to make sure the chicken is cooked through. And we'll just start piling them all up. They're messy, serve lots of napkins. It's okay. Smells so good. Just big old platter of them. Got to serve them with lots of sauces. Everybody likes a different type of sauce. My my favorite is ranch, honey mustard, barbecue sauce, whatever. And there you go. Looks so good. You can find the recipe on our website, fox11online.com. You can also pick it up at any Festival of Foods.